Hello everyone and welcome. I am Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube. And Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guys Academy has blessed me with the privilege of giving you guys 12 Tarot and Oracle reads. Yes, I am so happy and just blessed that Miss Nicole would think of me so much to allow me to give you guys these 12 tarot and oracle reads okay so thank you so much Miss Nicole and to Spiritual Guidance Academy okay so you guys hit that subscribe button okay hit that like button leave us a comment let us know what you thought about the videos okay getting into this energy you guys you know tarot energy is fluid take what is for you leave what is not okay the messages um that spirit deals with me with they are timeless messages so they're meant to reach you when they're meant to reach you for some of you these are messages that you know you'll be able to come back to and refer to certain things okay okay because like i said energy is fluid it changes and it shifts okay so with that being said, you guys, I'm going to open this read up with the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck. And I'm going to see what's coming through for the collective, okay? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Divine Holy Spirit, allow me to tap into the energies. Divine Holy Spirit is the energy around the collective. Thank you. And we have phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Okay. So you guys are coming out of some cycles, some phases in life where you're releasing those illusions of things that you might have thought was holding you back, a person or a situation, a time in your life. You're letting that go. Okay. Full moon behind her, illuminating her. Okay. I love that energy. It's very much so a releasing energy. So we're going to go in. With the Soul's Journey deck. And we're going to see what's coming out. Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. What's coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with even now or at a later date? Allow me to tap into their energies. Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. I definitely feel like there is some cycles. This collective... You guys went through the bringer on something, okay? And it had you like in the headlock, I'm feeling. And now it's this new beginning is coming in, and you guys are releasing so much. So many things. It was like, oh, I can't believe that I allowed myself to believe that. But it's, you know, you're not, I don't feel a like hung up energy. I just feel like an aha moment energy, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with? What energy is coming through for the collective of Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit? Give me one more card, Divine Holy Spirit. Okay. Spirit wants me to take the back of the deck, energy, indecision, and balance. Okay, so we have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. We have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. We have a balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. We have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. We have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. And we also have grief. 
I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Didn't I just say, I feel like you guys are coming out of a cycle, honey. This is a cycle. This is a whole book right here of energy. Okay. And I'm being led to pull from a mystical wisdom bank, archangels, ancestors, father, God, and Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective? We're coming through for the collective that I'm resonating with either now or at a later date. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. Okay, divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming through? Thank you. Boo celebration. Let go and have fun. Let go and have fun. This new beginning, this release, this celebration, the end of this cycle, bringing in this balance, knowing your purpose, getting these friendships, these relationships together, facing fears about certain relationships you have, okay, using your intuition, okay, over things that may have like had you in a negative space, okay, using your inner voice, your intuition, to understand and appreciate losing things, okay? Not being indecisive or some of you, you're coming out of this indecisive energy with this grief, okay? There's a celebration that is coming through for you, okay? There is a new cycle, a new phase of your life that is so freeing. Balance is coming in. Purpose is coming in. And then everything else releases and follows the divine Holy Spirit is giving me. Okay, so we're going to go in with an affirmation. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is the affirmation for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. For some of you guys, I'm getting the sense of you like you've rid yourself of certain toxic people in your circle. Okay, and it's not so much that, you know, you don't deal with them anymore. I feel like it's just that you know how to love them from a distance when at one point you wouldn't know what to do if you couldn't be with these people or this person. Okay, or this group of people, you'll find it very liberating to be on your own. Okay, to not even be involved or around certain people I'm getting may not resonate for everyone. Okay. Like you just find comfort in, in your own self, I'm feeling right now. Okay. So let's see. Spirit is giving me a lot of abundance that's about to come in for this collective divine Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective? What is the affirmation? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine. Thank you. And we have, I am willing to change. I am willing to release old negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. Phases and cycles is all about change. Okay. And this is a celebration. Okay. Because you're willing to change. You're releasing illusions negative thoughts negative beliefs okay my new thoughts are positive and fulfilling only okay beautiful energy beautiful energy okay and spirit is saying that's this this is what's at the heart of this book that just was laid out right here okay so i'm gonna go in and I'm going to get an angel heart message. Archangel, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective that I'm connecting with either now or at a later date? Divine, Holy Spirit. What is the message that's coming through? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, thank you. And we have opportunity, creative opportunity. Sacral chakra energy. 
Wondrous possibilities and opportunities await you. Stop dwelling on past mistakes. Surrender the past lovingly. There is nothing to regret. All is always in perfect divine order. Everything that you've ever experienced has helped you in some way. The past is behind you. The path ahead is clear. Move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desires. Okay? Yes, boo. And we have that right here. We have that fear coming out right here. Okay? That regret. Okay? Yeah, I'm feeling that strongly. So this is an opportunity to celebrate balance coming in. Okay? I'm loving that energy. So we're going to go in with the wisdom of the Oracle deck. And we're going to get a message from the higher self. We're going to get a message from the ancestors. And we're going to get a message from the guardian angels. Okay? Angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies. Angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. What is the energy? Okay, let's cut. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the higher self? What's the message? Thank you. Go the distance. Go the distance. Okay. Go the distance. Keep going. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the message from the ancestors? Divine Holy Spirit, what's the message from the ancestors? Thank you. And we have imagine. Beautiful energy. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the guardian angels? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the guardian angels? Thank you. To be fair. Oh, you guys. Y'all, I just ooh, observe at the bottom of the day energy. It's just something so beautiful about this energy here. Okay, your ancestors are saying, just imagine the possibilities that's coming up for you. This celebration card came out first. And I just said you guys have went through something rough and six cards came out. Okay. I'm willing to release the old. Yes, you are. You're ready to release a lot because there's opportunity here for you to go to the distance. Your higher self wants you to go the distance. Your ancestors are just saying, imagine whatever you can think of. We got you. Okay. We will guide you. Let us show you in your dreams. Let us show you. Okay. It's so much more, you know, with this card that spirit does not want me to go further in. But just imagine whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you're passionate about. You just ended this. There's a celebration and opportunity coming in for you. For those of you who are manifesting something, get, get, getting ready to go the distance on something. OK, it's going to be blessed. OK. Because your guardian angels are saying balance is coming in to be fair with the justice card. Okay. Fortune and abundance, divine knowledge, divine wisdom. You're going to be celebrating spirit is giving me. Okay. Literally. Divine Holy Spirit. We want to go in with the angels and ancestors oracle. And this is a spread exclusively for the Spiritual Guidance Academy. Okay, it's a six card spread. And then after that, we're going to go over this with some tarot with a past, present, future energy and advice. Okay, of angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. What is the energy surrounding the collective that I'm reading for? Either now or at a later date. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. What is the energy?
Divine Holy Spirit, where is the energy of the collective right now? Where is their energy? Where is the collective energy? Thank you. Moving beyond ancestral patterns, things that have hold you back, a way of seeing, a cycle, a phase, an illusion, a way that you have been th taught. I'm getting off of that. And you're not alone knowing that you're being divinely guided. You know, for some of you, I had just heard, but God, I just heard somebody say, but God, okay, on that right there, okay, knowing that your spiritual team got you, okay, being aware of how something affected you at young, being aware of how, you know, a, a certain way you were dealing, you know, affected you, okay, and having this grace upon you right now, and you're actually feeling this grace, you're actually moving towards this or through this right now. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what is grounding this collective's energy? Thank you. And we have Oracle Wait for Important Messages, okay? And I feel like that's with this opportunity card, you know, wondrous possibilities and opportunities. Stop dwelling on the past mistakes, okay? Just be in a receptive energy here, okay, is what I'm getting off of that, okay? Or, or, this is the energy that you're in, okay? For some of you, you're not in this energy yet. But others of you, you're flowing towards this energy of just waiting, trusting, knowing that you're not alone, working on yourself, releasing some things, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around the collective goals and desires? What is the energy, Divine Holy Spirit? Thank you. And we have snake shed old skin. Yes, with moving beyond ancestral patterns, there could be a limit, a, a bunch of things. That could be drug addiction. That could be alcoholism. That could be, you know, um, sexual abuse. That could be mental abuse. It could be a whole list of things. You know exactly what that is, but you're shedding that. That's the hopes. That's the goals. That's what you want to do, or that's what you're moving towards. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around what the collective need to let go of? Okay, and we have follow the voice of your soul, ancestor, star ancestor. Okay, and I feel like this is not letting go of the messages and the synchronicities of what got you here. Okay, not getting too comfortable in a situation here. Okay, is what I'm seeing because I feel like there's a lot of celebration. There's a lot of things that you're moving towards and you're going the distance and you're imagining. Okay, but keeping intact to what's true to you and why you're moving this way. What got you to this point in the first place? Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around where the collective should direct their intentions? Thank you. And we have Water Guardian, connect with your emotions, okay? Following your, your inner voice, connecting with those true raw emotions on what it is that you want, what it is that you're really truly going the distance on, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice for the collective? Thank you. Spirit says no, okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what's the advice for the collective? Thank you. And we have make plans and focus, shield maiden. Okay. And I feel like if you're going to go the distance on something and you want your spiritual team, your guardian angels to come out and balance something and protect something, you have to have that, that, that warrior that, you know, prep. And she's prepared. She's prepared for battle. Okay. She has a shield. She has a sword. She has her um warrior clothes on. Okay. She has her tribal paint on her. She's ready. To, she's making plans for this. She's focused on this. She's focused after going and attacking or doing whatever it is that she's going to do. Or he. Okay. Because this could be a male energy as well. You know, energy is fluid. Okay. So... Divine Holy Spirit. Okay. One more card. What else do you have coming out for the advice? Okay. And we have move in a new direction, traveler. Okay. And I also feel like with this card right here where you're going the distance. Okay. You're making plans and focus. 
and move in a new direction. I also feel that some things, you know, you need to just keep to yourself right now, how you're moving and what you're doing. Okay. Not everything needs to be said or spoken about. Okay. Because some people will try to ride the wave um, just because and be there for all the wrong reasons. I'm getting off of that energy as well. So we're going to go in with a three card spread over this. Okay, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. What's coming through for the collective? Archangels, a lot of healing. It's going to be something to celebrate. Boo, this is on the cut. It's going to be a lot to celebrate. There's a lot of healing. There's a recognizing who you are. The star that you are. You're about to be. Ooh, this is a celebrate. Okay. It's about to be a celebrate. All right. Yeah, boo. Star on the back of the deck. Okay. This is all about your healing. Shed this old skin. Connecting with who you really are. And what it is you really want. Your purpose. Overcoming these fears and the loving energy. Ooh, boo. <sighs> mm, beautiful. Closing out cycles. Look at that confirmation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for that confirmation right there. Phases and cycles. Closing that out and moving beyond that. Okay, Spirit says off the top. Spirit says take that. Okay. That's what's going to be celebrated. Okay. Off the top of the deck. We have Six of Wands. We have the Empress. We have the tower and we have two of swords for advice, okay? And let's just say um, pulling after that, we have the fool, the moon, and the ten of swords, okay? So on that advice, okay, you're being, you're being guided to just put something behind you totally, okay, and move forward. And I feel like that's the decision that you're needing to make right there. Okay, to really make a firm decision to get on this path because I feel like you've moved on from something and you've got the victory over something. And Spirit is highlighting that person in the back for me right there. Okay, so you do have some haters or you do have someone that is going to be trying to contact you because they see how you're moving. They're seeing all that you're releasing. Okay, and that you're going the distance on something and Spirit is blessing you. There's justice coming out here. Okay, and you have your guardian angels all over this situation. Okay, you're dwelling right now in this beautiful self-healing energy. Okay, this loving energy. Didn't we just keep seeing star, the star card coming, that self-healing. You're in this empress energy or you're going to be moving towards this empress energy right here. But there is this tower moment that's coming up in the future. And I'm going to get a little bit of clarification on that. Okay, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. What is this tower moment? Thank you. Okay, and I feel like this, this comes with setting out upon a quest of something new. And I feel like this tower moment is not nothing bad. Okay, I don't get bad energy. I just feel like, oh my God, this is about to shake my foundation. But it's something that I'm desiring to do. This is something that I feel like it's meant for me to do because you're in the right energy to discover this is what spirit is telling me. So this is going to be something that is going to shake up something that is going to lead you to something, you know, extraordinary. And this is this tower moment is about you going the distance spirit is giving me about you imagining something, receiving something, being open to something, allowing yourself to think about what it is that you can have and spirit actually providing a way for you to see that come through. Okay, but it might shake up some things, okay, and it might leave you in a two of swords energy where you're blocking people or you are needing to make a decision about a certain particular person, place, or thing on this path, on this journey you're embarking on here, but you decide to put it down, okay, ten of swords energy and move forward with the fool energy, okay? So with that being said, yeah, because for some of you, this person hurt your heart. This situation was hurting your heart here. Okay, had you all in your mind with someone who was emotionally available. You kept pouring your emotions into someone who was sneaky. Okay, this is the back of the deck energy here. And I just want to keep, I just want to show you guys. Okay, three of swords 
Eight of Swords, okay, Knight of Cups, someone is, you know, a love offering here, okay, that was coming in the Seven of Swords energy right here when you were trying to give them your all, I feel, for some of you, you were investing a lot, but this person had no good intentions on, you know, really giving you that love, okay, they kept you in your head about yourself, I'm feeling, okay, a lot with the things that they were doing that were hurting you. Okay, you're deciding to put that down. You got the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands here. And I feel like you're focusing on work and new communications. Okay. Being open to new communications. Some of you, you're not being open to love. But moving forward in like, you know, whatever endeavor creatively, you're open towards that. Working on yourself, others of you, you're gonna you're gonna walk into you know a person that you're going to be able to like start this new chapter with. Okay, so I am going to leave it at that, you guys. Please do hit that like button, leave a comment. Okay, subscribe to Spiritual Guidance Academy channel. Come over there to my channel, Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle. Come check me out over there. Okay, you guys, I'm sending you guys nothing but love, divine healing light. Okay, until next time, boo. Bye, y'all.